I think anybody who's experiencing anxiety or depression, whether it's mild or, or extremely serious, they probably think they're the only person in the world going through it. But the reality is that there are millions and millions of people going through it. Right now, thousands of people across the world are waiting for a miracle. Enough rain to assure a good harvest. My name is John Calvert. I'm a voiceover artist. I also am a radio commercial producer and I've been doing the job pretty much for 40 years now. My voice is heard pretty much in every country, voicing commercials, instructional videos, narrating documentaries or whatever it happens to be. There are two sort of aspects of being the voice. First of all, you've got to actually sound believable, that, that people actually know that you know what you're talking about. And secondly, emoting it making it sound real, making it come alive, adding colour. They are surviving, but for how long? Because the faster you respond, the faster we can stop their waiting. I've always been anxious about stuff, um, and it really came back with a vengeance just after my father died back in 2012. He was, a, he was a great big character and very funny and everything like that, and to lose someone like that leaves a gap in your life, obviously, and it's not just me, but everybody. He was not engaged with the world as much as he could be, I would say. He was generally sluggish. He wanted to sleep a lot, and he wasn't actually enjoying life. Mental health, in particular, is a massive side effect of not being healthy. If you're not healthy, the brain's not going to perform particularly well for you. It's not going to give, it, give you its best. So I was aware that fitness is a thing, it's just that I've avoided it like the plague for a very, very long time. But I knew that if you got the body moving and got a bit puffed out and moved more, you will enjoy the results. And that's when I started to explore the idea of taking some exercise. For me, the aim of the fitness box is anyone can come across all abilities. Your, your nan could come over here trained, feel welcome, and we could adapt a workout for her. The workout will be 25 minutes of fun. So first time I met John, he'd never done any gym work in, I think it was like 20 or 30 years. I don't think he knew what the gym was about. It was a CrossFit gym, but I didn't know what CrossFit was, never heard of it. And I thought, I can't just turn up and walk through the door, that's, that's gonna be a bit scary. So I thought, well, maybe I start a conversation. Sent a note to Glenn saying, I'm in my 50s, I'm desperately unfit. I don't know what to do, how can you help? So we come over, we, we had a chat, clicked really well, and the idea was to start off with we was just going to be one-to-one -to, -one to warm him up to see if he would like to come and try a class. And then John knees out, hips extended all the way at the top. I wanted somebody to, to encourage me, to cajole me, to push me a little bit. That's it. I'll wait for it to get to the shoulder before you come back down. That's it. So we come over, we had our one-to-one -one sessions, and after the first session, I saw him over in uh, the local supermarket the next day, hobbling, struggling to walk, and thinking, I wonder if he'll come back. Maybe I've pushed him a bit too far. But he come back from there, we had five or six more sessions, put him onto a class. He's such a people person, he gelled with everyone. Well done, John. Big jump. Good, flat feet. In a very typical style for John, if he actually decides he's going to do something, then he will do it. and he will then become single-minded in that pursuit. Getting fit is, is, you know, you just don't do a workout and you feel fit. It's a process. What I found was suddenly about after a month, I thought, I'm not tired in the afternoons anymore. I wasn't like that a year ago. John's been insanely consistent. I would say you'd see him minimum four times a week. I, don't, I can't recall a time where he's had more than a week off unless he's gone on holiday. If I'd known the benefits of getting fitter and, and doing CrossFit and stuff like that, I would have started decades ago. <laughs> Glenn worked with John obviously intensely at the start when he went to CrossFit and he's been very much, I think, a mentor for John with his fitness journey because he's shown him that no matter what age you are, no matter how fit or unfit you are physically and mentally, you can do it. Try and push yourself out of your comfort zone if you want to have a go on the assault bike. John's just improved so much. It's great to think that we've had a, a bit to play in that to help John 
in his, in his day to day life. And four years later, I would say me and John are good friends. He's a 9.30 regular. Everyone knows John, everyone loves John. He's just such a great addition to the, the fitness box. Since John started doing CrossFit, he is like having a different person in the house. He's a, a different husband, he's a different father, um, he's much happier and he has that great focus day in, day out of actually going to the gym, coming back, working. It's a really lovely pattern of day-to-day um, -day life for him. I think it's really important that we all have a place and a, and a, a little ritual to do to, to get us by. CrossFit is an essential part of, of, of my life now. I can't imagine life without it. What CrossFit does is it m makes me manage stressful situations a little bit better, takes the edge off it. As a result, my anxiety levels have completely plummeted thanks to CrossFit. CrossFit and exercise is the best medicine, 100% instead of going to the doctors and, and prescribing medication, the medication is talking to people and finding something you enjoy. We're gonna do that in time with me as fast as you can. Glenn is an awesome guy. He's, he's more than just an instructor. I mean, an instructor's got a, a hard thing to do because he's got a class full of people, 12, 15 people. They all come for exercise, but they, they, everybody goes for exercise for a different outcome. You know what my outcome is, but other people want to lose weight, some people want to get in shape or, or whatever. And what Glenn has got to do is navigate through all that and make sure that he hits everybody's touch points. So at the end, people walk out and say, right, I've achieved what I've wanted to do today. I think the feeling of, of helping people is the most rewarding feeling in the world. If I get a text of how I've made someone's day or how the workouts really cheered them up and, and they're having difficulties in their life and this is what's keeping them going. It just it does give you that buzz, make you feel good and it's, it is the most rewarding job in the world if you want to help people.